Hi, my name is Jessica. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm doing a product empties. Um, this is accumulation of about three months. I've never realized how many products I actually go through in a couple months. And I'm tired of looking at all this in my spare room. So let's get to it. Nobel Panacea is one of my favorite skincare brands. Not only are they science-based, they have created a product that delivers its active ingredients with extreme precision. Uh, everything I've ever used from them is spot on. Uh, the vitamin C is just so brightening. The elasticity in my skin is, I mean, astronomically better than any vitamin C I've used. I definitely still love my uh, skin suitables, but this I will always have. My next product is the body serum. I do use a body serum every single night. This is the Necessaire. Uh, I've been using it for about six months now and it's a beautiful body serum, but I do rotate. I have about four different body serums I use. The next is my La Prairie uh, Skin Caviar Luxe Cream. I do love this cream. Is it worth the $500 price tag? I am, <laughs> I want to say yes, but it does have alcohol as one of its ingredients and I'm not a fan of alcohol as the delivery mechanism for skincare. But I mean, it is luxe, it does feel nice. I think my skin has benefited, but since I haven't been using this, my skin's still okay. And if I had the extra $500, yeah, I would buy it. But I mean, I'll wait till it goes on sale. From the obvious noble panacea, this is my absolute intense renewal serum. My favorite night serum. It's beautiful. I mean, I feel like my skin has recovered from a lot of the tanning damage I've done in the in my past won't do that anymore next is the royal fern this is my uh, phytoactive anti-aging rich cream I love this cream it feels like I go through a lot of this I mean the texture is whipped it's rich it's luxe I I love it and I will continue buying it now this is the EOS fresh and cozy body lotion Everybody says it's so rich. It's so luxurious. It's, it's just lotion. I don't think it's very rich. It's nothing wrong with it. Would everybody? No, I'm just, it's okay. I have my Smart Mouth Clinical Mouthwash. I love this mouthwash. I've tried other mouthwashes. I feel like this is the best that I've used. Um, a lot of other mouthwashes, I'll use it, and I just I don't feel that lasting freshness, but with this, I definitely do. And I ended up finding another of these Alginous uh, Collagen Creams at Marshall's. I love this for my chest. I love these thick uh, balm-like textures for my chest. It smooths on a lot easier. I don't use as much product when it comes to that but and then these tata harper purifying masks i wish they came in bigger bottles than one ounce i mask every single night i rotate i probably have 15 to 20 masks i use so every night i'm using a different mask but even then these run out so damn quick also, I went through another Dr. Barbara Sturm, the Better Be Serum. Uh, I love niacinamide. It's great for brightening, uh, great for aging. It helps the pores. I mean, it's it's amazing. And especially the, the price tag. I, I wish it was a little cheaper, but I mean, you can go on like Saks and get it on a different, decent price uh, depending on the holidays. But I mean, that's definitely worth it. One of my favorite night sleeping masks. I have fell in love with the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapies Lip Mask. I have tried, I can even count, 30, 40 different sleep masks. 
I will preach that this is one of the better ones. Also, I have recently tried the Fincy sleep mask. I am using that now just because I'm out of this, but I would probably rotate between this and that. I love both. Both last up until the morning where I have to scrub it off with a baby wipe because it's on there. I wish I could find this at Marshall's more often. This is my Truly body cream. Uh, it's amazing. It's super thick. It's super creamy. Uh, sometimes super thick body creams can not rub in as easy, but this just soaks into the skin, melts, but you're still super hydrated. I love this. And I do feel like for wrinkles and cellulite, it does smooth out. A little bit so I mean I do recommend this one of my other body serums that I rotate throughout the week is the Paula's Choice 5% Niacinamide Body Serum I love this uh, this is probably my second favorite uh, body serum underneath uh, the the necessary body serum I love this it's only 28 bucks you can get it on Amazon I definitely recommend Another one of my everyday uh, skincare items is the Osmosis Stim Factor. This is one of the medical grade brands that I got into when I started discovering growth factors and stem, stem cells. And, but uh, I love this. I do feel like it's made a difference. This really isn't that much depending on what site you get it on. But uh, Skin Truth is oh, one of my favorite sites for mainly all my medical grade products. But this is amazing and you should really try it. It's a great beginner serum when you discover growth factors and stem cells. It can get a little sticky depending on what products you use, but I definitely think you should try it. So the Augustinus Bader Rich Cream. When I originally found this, I was all for it. But then when I started doing a deep dive in her other products, I would generally go to the ultra soothing cream. That's what I prefer. I prefer a thicker cream. This is a really nice thick cream, but I prefer the other one better if I just prefer the other one better just because it is thicker it's in a jar and but i mean this is beautiful i would rebuy this again but with the price tag i would just rather go with my ultra soothing cream because it's just the one i prefer some of the items today are not so much as empties but declutters so i bought this it is the sicily black rose skin infusion cream I bought this off of a website I normally always trusted. I thought it was one of these websites like uh, Sex Fifth Avenue, uh, Bloomingdale's. Later on, after I bought this, I found out it's one of those sites that sell discounted products. Um, I love Sisley. I know this product is not supposed to smell like this. Um, I do not recommend buying these off of discount sites um but yeah I, i'm just gonna declutter it i did break out after i used this product i really enjoyed this is the biosance squalene and caffeine toning body cream i don't think it made so much of a difference when it comes to cellulite and toning but i mean it's an overall pretty decent body cream it's on the lighter side when it comes to body creams texture wise but I mean, it's definitely beautiful. I do like it. $30, I don't know about that. But I mean, I like it. Again, with my Dr. Barber Sturm, this is the Rich Cream. I love this cream. Um, I hate running out of this. I am out of this now, obviously. But uh, I mean, it's a beautiful cream. It's not super rich like my Royal Fern. But I mean, it is rich. It is beautiful. I do love it. And... I'm waiting for another one to come. I've also ran out of my True Botanicals my Chubula Serum. This is really nice. Sometimes when you have uh, 
multiple items in your skincare, multiple serums, your face can get either really sticky or you can start peeling. But I mean, this is a beautiful serum. It goes on super nice, uh, soaks in. It's just an overall really nice serum. And I do feel like it has helped with anti-aging among other results. One of my other masks I rotate through is the Kiehl's Avocado Nourishing Hydration Mask. This is a nice mask. Uh, I use this when my skin's feeling irritated. I mean, just really dry to where you have to keep uh, reapplying moisturizer. I mean, that's just a really nice mask. At the end of the day, you just need to get that moisture, that hydration. One of my preferred body scrubs is the onyx i get these at marshall's um it's a really nice foaming body scrub i also like the dove body polishes but when it comes to exfoliation i do exfoliate every single day on my underarms on the bottoms of my feet and then um uh, you know my body every two to three days but it's i love these these are amazing they're only six bucks and i mean i love them One of the better body oils I've tried is the Necessary Body Oil. Uh, I usually buy these when I do the holiday sets or, you know, the body serum sets that you get for Necessary. Everybody knows Atour is one of the best science-based brands, in my opinion. I mean, Noble Panacea, it, it's in competition. But this is the Definitive Restoration Cream. I do need to buy another one of these. I love the packaging, but you cannot tell when you're running out until it starts pumping out half pumps. You know, it's. I just wish it had a reminder every 25 days. I don't know. I have finally finished my Sunday Riley Good Jeans serum uh ever since i went science based i started using this on my chest so one pump uh every night i think it's definitely helped um i'm trying to definitely tighten my chest i have aging from tanning and trying to fix that <clears throat> another product from sisley this is my night cream with collagen and wood mallow I love this. I already have another bottle. I bought a backup once I first tried this. This is when I really started getting into my luxurious high priced items. I love Sicily. Uh, none of their products have ever done me wrong except the one that I don't think is real. I love this. I recommend it. It's heavily scented so I don't recommend it if you're sensitive to that. This is one of the products I finished off on my chest. This is Melin and Goats. Um, it's an advanced renewal cream. I will buy another one of these. A lot of times I won't repurchase something that I use strictly on my chest. This, I am. I will. It's beautiful. I like it. This is another really nice body serum. It's an anti-aging body balm, but I used it as a serum. It's an Ose. Uh, Osea, sorry, Osea Anti-Aging Body Balm. It's beautiful. It's a little thicker than your average body serum, but that's just how I use it because it's not thick enough for it to be a moisturizer, but my skin needs a lot of moisture. I just need just a soft, silky skin, and that's just how I do it. I have finally finished my Elsa MD. Uh, it's a beautiful sunscreen. Um, nothing negative to say, but nothing amazing either. Uh, I would repurchase. I probably wouldn't pay full price, but I mean, I feel like I did go through this quite fast. But I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice brand. This is one of my favorite sunscreens. This is the Tula Protecting Glow. Um, I mean, it's a nice glowy sunscreen. It's not super thick. It's more like a gel-like sunscreen, but it doesn't leave uh, 
a white cast because it is more of a gel base but I mean this is a good everyday sunscreen I love it this is a jumbo size I already have another one downstairs it's beautiful also you know I get my lashes done so I need my visine I generally like the original but I mean I just got the red eye comfort because it was at Target they didn't have the one I wanted so good I always keep a couple of these on deck because girl you have to have eye drops I just finished also on my chest the Shiseido Vital Perfection Overnight Firming Cream it was okay I don't think it made a big difference also I love the honey pot um I do not really like the normal. I like the sensitive or the green one. I think it's aloe. But, um, I mean, it's a beautiful brand. I, it's never thrown off my pH. I continue to buy this brand. I know there's, like, a big thing about them changing their ingredient list, but it hasn't done me wrong. Also, my girl got me on this. I love this. This is a staple. I feel... If I'm out of this for a day, I swear my skin punishes me. This is the Skin Medica TNS Advanced Serum. This has uh, human stem cells. Uh, it's beautiful. I recommend you definitely getting into growth factors and stem cells. I mean, yes, you need to. This is one of my newer products I got into. This is the Hydrinity Renewing Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I do use my Azure Hyaluronic Acid, but I just wanted to add this because it was recommended. I've already repurchased another set. I buy the set, whereas you can buy just hyaluronic acid, but I buy it with the, the cleansing spray that it comes with. But I love it, do recommend, and I will continue using. This is one of my favorite body oils. You can get this at Walmart. It's just Shea Moisture. This is the coconut and hibiscus. It's beautiful, it's thick. Out of all of the Shea Moisture body oils, it smells the best. I did run out of my La Mer, the treatment lotion. I have a smaller bottle downstairs, but uh, this is, I mean, I have to use this day to day. I just love this i mean it's worth the price it's a staple it's worth the price this is the josie marin argan milk intensive hydrating body renewal serum this is really expensive i don't think it did a lot it's nice but i do not think it did a lot it's like um watery lotion with not a lot of benefits so Nah. This is the Epicutus Hyvia cream. Uh, it was okay. It's definitely a really lightweight cream. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I will not repurchase the cream, but I do enjoy the Epicutus serum. I'm just kind of on the fence. And yes, my nails are busted. I'm, I know. I'm going next week to get them done. So I have the La Prairie Skin Caviar Night Mask. I love this. I will rebuy this. It's just super thick, super luxe. Uh, it's a beautiful sleep mask. Uh, the day cream earlier, I was all on the fence, but I love the night cream. I feel like my skin is just so moist and so ready for the day. I feel like it's on my skin all night. And so I wash it off the next morning. These are one of my cleansing balms. Uh, I don't try so many different cleansing balms. I like the Tata Harper, but I did get two of these. Uh, these are the Clinique Take the Day Off balms. Beautiful. I like it. I have another one I'm using right now. Next is my Espa Triactive Regenerating Define and Titan Body Serum. This is not worth $150. Um, I bought this because you got a free body butter that one of my favorite body butters is actually from this brand. I do like this. I would recommend it. I would not recommend it for $150, but I would like to retry this. Uh, I don't think 
use in this in rotation with other body serums i could tell exactly whether it made a difference but i would like to try this and use it solely for a month and uh, give you a better opinion but not for 150 dollars i really tried to like this hair oil um I don't think this did anything for my dandruff. It's, yeah, I've already bought another bottle and it still hasn't done anything. So it's on to the next for me. So this is my Osmosis Catalyst AC11. It is a DNA repair C serum. Um, I did not find out until later on that it had alcohol as one of the ingredients. Um, it came out as like iodine and I was, just wasn't a big fan. I stopped using it the minute I found out it had alcohol. Do not, I do not like to put alcohol on my face knowing it's a delivery mechanism whatever no i don't want that on my face um i used it on my chest just to see and i'm good i lost the top this is the kate somerville retinol vitamin c uh, i bought this for my mom and she just wasn't a big fan i did use this on my chest and i think it worked okay but i wouldn't buy it again but i love kate somerville i definitely like definitely recommend her brand she has a bunch of different lines for uh older skin versus sensitive skin stuff for brightening your skin i mean next is my skin medica tns recoveries complex i always get this with the advanced serum i always buy this as a set they usually run out about the same time so uh staples i literally have to have this or my skin is mm -mm. so these are my i'm pretty sure i'm butchering this the calicum the calcium calcium um professional serum these are human stem cells uh you can get six of these bottles for I think a little over $400, definitely worth it. I really started getting into this brand. I have a couple different creams I'm testing out right now. And I do think it has made my skin glowy. I do not wear makeup. I wear, unfortunately, my eyebrows until I can get them microbladed in my lashes. Uh, I mean, I think... This brand on top of my skin medica has made such a difference in my skin being more youthful having more retention I mean I definitely recommend these I need to rebuy these uh, ASAP because I'm on my last bottle also eye creams I mean I do recommend an eye cream this is the Augustinus Bader eye cream I am using my second bottle I'm just not sure if it's made a big difference, but I'm still, you know, kind of, I'm using it with two other eye creams right now. And I mean, I do like it. I would buy it, but I'm using it solely as a night eye cream versus the two I'm using during the day. And I was on my La Mer, the eye concentrate. I was that hard. I will forever have this. And so I found out my new eye creams I started using, which I'll put in my next video. Uh, I mean, I would rebuy this. I do like this. I just wanted to test out a couple different eye creams until then. As I'm going through all my little baskets, I have four of these Aquaphor healing ointment jars. I didn't realize I was going through that many. I mean, these nowadays are like $19 a jar. It's ridiculous, but these are amazing. I only really use these as my nightly foot soaks. Uh, once I get out the shower, getting ready for bed, I just take nice fuzzy socks. I put a big glob of this on the bottom of my feet. 
I mean, soft like a baby's, but I love these. I will continue to use these. It include uh, my Pata Fusion gummies. These are the Power Zinc. These are the best gummies from this brand. I've tried a bunch of different gummies, bunch of different brands, but the Power Zinc, I, I take extra just because they are so good in the morning. Man, I love them. I did try the cranberry gummies. Um, I mean, it just says it supports urinary health. I would rebuy, nothing special, but they're good. This is the Augustinus Bader, the serum. Love this serum, definitely recommend. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I did enjoy this cream. Um, I do have another bottle. It's not bad, it's not amazing, but I do enjoy it and I am currently using it. Uh, whenever I'm out of my other body oils, I always have my Dr. Teal's. Uh, it's a good oil, it's a eucalyptus and spearmint. I love it that it has uh, jojoba, sweet almond, grapeseed oil, all good oils. I mean, definitely moisturizing. I do love it. I loved this sunscreen, but girl, let's talk about packaging. Hate products like this. So this is the Tatcha Silk Sunscreen. When you are applying multiple different products, serums, moisturizers, your skin gets... It, they're wet they're moist and then this shit starts peeling and you put this on your face and little bits of pieces are on your face i hate it hate it but it's an amazing sunscreen i would rebuy this i just wish they would change the packaging like no this i will never go without la mer the creme i love the creme i've never tried the soft cream i would like to but man this is amazing so much worth so worth the price i do wish it was cheaper but worth the price this is my melanin goats recovery treatment i actually been using this for six seven years i yeah, just about. Uh, I did stop once I went medical grade, but I mean, it is nice. I finished it with my chest. If I could find the recovering cream and this in a set, I would rebuy it, but I mainly I'm just buying the cream. This is one of my favorite body washes. This is the Dr. Bronner's Eye really only like my almond i did not like the rose i did not like the green tea it's not my thing i did like the gold bond therapeutic foot cream uh this is super thick i do love this um i have the shea moisture one in the foot cream it's it's good i do like it uh another onyx Bath house, happy fall, y'all. Uh, foaming body scrub. I've been through so many of these. It's ridiculous. This is not an empty so much as a declutter. This is the Be Fresh Smooth AF. Um, sometimes my body can get itchy and irritated when I do have a bunch of AHAs on my body. Uh, depending on the brand, I did have a sensitivity to this to where I didn't use it for a week and I tried it again just to pinpoint what was making me react and it was this. So, goodbye. did enjoy the Dove Moisture Boost Body Cleanser. I use this as right before I get out the shower. I use this kind of as like a body, in shower body moisturizer, but I do wash this off. Uh, just to kind of lock in that moisture at the end of my shower. It's good. It's not amazing, but it's good. Uh, one of the Shea Moisture's uh, Bath and Body Massage Oil. This is the Olive and Green Tea. I do like it. Uh, I mean, it's there at Walmart and it's pretty good. Now, this is the best hair product. The best ultimate reset extreme repair 
treatment for very damaged hair. This is so thick. I mean, literally, you put this in your hair for five minutes, you get out the shower, comb, go straight through it. It's ridiculous. It's expensive, but I do think it's worth the price. I have one of those like 20% cheaper, but I mean, it's worth it. This is a shoe Umerman Ultimate Reset uh extreme repair treatment you can get it on sephora i mean it's beautiful i do recommend next is the la mer the tonic this is a beautiful uh toner i mean it's not exfoliating it's just a uh, really nice overall toner it's just very basic but very nice definitely prepares the skin for everything you're gonna put on it I feel like it does balance the pH just fine. Like I said, I love these. The Truly Body Stars. I go through quite a bit. Uh, those were my last. I have not found another one at Marshall's. This is one of my favorite masks. This is from Fresh. It's my Creme Ultimate Nourishing Honey Mask. I love this. I don't think it's worth $200, but it is such a beautiful cream and I will keep spending the money on it. I got this Truly Mary Jane CBD Glow Serum at Marshall's. I did use this on my chest. I did think it was nice. I love the bottle. Truly always has the best packaging. This is one of the better serums I use. It's Neo Genesis Recovery Advanced Cellular Serum. This is $360, yeah, it's worth it. I mean, anything uh, recovery, stem cells, human media, I mean, I love it, we'll reuse it, we'll rebuy it. If I could choose a body cream that I would never run out, I love the quarterly uh, vinyl sculpt this will help with cellulite this will help with skin tightening i do not like the smell it's very quarterly very great but it, it's not terrible and it's not strong it, i think people with sunslip skin can use this i do recommend i do love and i always have a bag of this is the shadow vital perfection uplifting and firming cream this was my staple before I went medical grade. I love it. I do recommend it. I do not use it anymore. Um, Shishado, from what I understand, is not cruelty free. I did enjoy the Drunk Elephant uh, Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I do like this oil. I do like Drunk Elephant. Um, I don't use so many products from them, but I mean, this is a really nice oil. I also use uh, Kate Somerville Peptide K8 Power Cream. I do think this works for aging skin. I do recommend this and the other one that comes the Total Repair Cream is amazing for people with sagging skin, wrinkles. It has made quite a difference on my chest and I would recommend. This is one of the better sunscreens I have used. This is the Sunday Rayleigh Lighthearted. It's a uh, SPF 30. Um, it's thinner texture. It doesn't leave too much of a white cast. I think it blends in just fine. I would recommend this. I would prefer a bigger bottle. I mean, this is full size. No lie. This, I, there is a little bit of product, but I, I'm not scooping that out way leave-in conditioner i love the smell i did like the product i would rebuy this so far all the body creams i've tried in the morning i have to use a thick body cream with oil mixed in and this is my favorite body cream for that it's just the cetaphil moisturizing cream super thick super rich love it uh, I've used other body creams, but for some reason it'll peel, even if it's the same texture. I don't know. This is the only thing that works for me in the morning. I, I can't have my lotion peeling all throughout the day. I enjoyed this. This is the Tatcha Ageless uh, Renewal Cream. It's, it's 
thicker texture of all the Tatcha creams I've used. I do like this. I don't think it's worth the price, but it's good. Um, this, I mean, there's a little bit left. Um, I'm more slow decluttering this because I think I've had this for probably a good three, four years. And mm -mm. it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just when a product like that, I don't even know when it says to throw away, but yeah, so it's six months, Lord. I haven't used it in a long time. Let me just tell you that. Also, Drunk Elephant, the Maretinol oil. I do recommend this. I use this with the virgin oil, and it is a good oil. I like Drunk Elephant. This is my favorite honeypot cucumber aloe uh, feminine wash. It's beautiful. I like it. I loved my fresh vitamin nectar moisture glow. It's just a really nice face cream. Uh, something like that that's in a lighter texture. If my face is feeling dry, I just like to put it on. I sometimes bring moisturizers like this and work. Just keep it in my locker just to refresh my moisture. I really enjoyed this hand cream from Bliss. It's lemon and sage. I mean, you got this big old jar, right? And this pump, it only goes down to there. So literally, you have to unscrew this and dig your entire hand in. It wasn't worth the hassle, so I like this. I would not buy this again, but I would buy the cream. This is a declutter, a Shanti 100% shea butter. This smells so bad, so bad. Even if I, I tried this on my feet with my socks, I literally had to scrub my hands because the scent is so bad. This is a declutter. This is Bali Body Gradual Face Tan. I don't know why I bought this. I I mean, this was expensive. Alongside with this, I'm not going to use these tan serum. Come on, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, Yeah, no. Mm -mm, bye. I did try the Fresh Black Tea Advanced Age Renewal Cream. This is a nice cream. I, I think all products from Fresh are good. I definitely recommend. And I still use creams like this when I feel like throughout the day my face is just dry. And I don't feel like using a $300 cream. And I'll just use this. Next, this is the lip mask I like using during the day. This is the Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream from Fresh. I uh, already have a second bottle. Love this during the day. I got this sample from Skin Medica. This is the vitamin C and E complex. I don't know what it is about this cream. This pills every time. I could have nothing on my face and it'll still pill. My skin rejects this, so I do too. Last product. Okay, this is the TPH from Taraja P. Henderson. Uh, this the Anything Glows body oil. I was so happy when I found this at Walmart. I go online and I can't even find this. I use this up super quick. Beautiful body oil, beautiful smell. I have the matching body butter and the body wash. I love this. And I would repurchase if I can find it. Anyways, that is it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Subscribe, uh, like the video, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.